The first flight on January the 1st was supposed to mark the start of the flood, but Romanian and Bulgarian immigration to the UK has been more of a trickle. And Victor, that first Romanian to arrive here, has had a tough time just keeping his head above water. I speak with a lot of, a lot of guys who want to come here and uh, I tell him it's not, it's not so easy to come here and to work here. I don't want to stay here. I go, I go back from my country because I love my country. I love my place where I live. Language is the problem for Stella and Larissa. They're nurses in Romania. They've been hotel cleaners in Britain since arriving in January. They needed my question translated for them. What do they want from their time here? Uh, in hotel uh, moment. I in, in the, she uh, want more. I want yes. more. No, only clean the room and finish. I want more. <laughs> this is just a first step. Yes, for you. yes. yes. Here it's a very much, very much possibility, have very much possibility. Cornelius has been here a lot longer. He opened his Romanian restaurant four years ago. And even though the predicted numbers were much bigger than today's actual numbers, for him the argument about those numbers has changed Britain's attitude to Romanians. When the people ask you now, where are you from, Romania? Oh, OK. But before was, where are you from, Romania? Oh, nice. But now it's different. Oh, you're from Romania. So it's slightly different, which you cannot see only if you are Romanian. A dip in the numbers now doesn't mean there won't be a spike later. And at Cornelius's restaurant, at least, they'll be hoping that in the next three months, the trickle does become more of a flood.